It's taken me 10 years to build these three restaurants and it took a matter of a week for it all to be torn down. It is a raw, real look at the restaurant industry during unreal times. I hope we get out of this stronger. I keep convincing myself that we will, but it's frightening. Restaurant Hustle 2020 All on the Line is a new documentary that follows four chefs and business owners in their own words. What if this is the year that changes, you know, the next 50 years? Their honest emotions. Look this puppy like, right there. Oh, you going bye-bye? They forgot your guitar seen their grandkids. Time, so just, don't talk to them. I'm her. <laughs> <laughs> as the COVID pandemic upends their industry. We gotta lay off those managers and the rest of that remaining team. It's really difficult, it's like you're on a sinking ship, yet you're asking somebody to take journal notes as to what it felt like when this went down. Guy Fieri teamed with the Food Network and enlisted his culinary colleagues like Marcus Samuelson to document the unprecedented challenges that have caused one in six restaurants to go out of business. It was a very, trying time to listen to your friends that you love and respect and see them go through this up and down that you couldn't do anything about. With Guy's team, we figured out how to tell a raw, authentic, honest story. This was not four star chefs, you know, coming into the restaurant produced. You probably had enough on your plate as it was this year. Why did you want to take part in this documentary? I'm part of a community and we needed to share this. We're off to Bridgeport Hospital. Get these 100 pies to some people that can really use a proper morale boost. Being part of that community also meant supporting frontline workers. Thank you for everything you guys do. Thank you so much, okay? You guys all stay safe. And their neighbors in need. We're in this together. And in turn, the everyday person ordering from their favorite locally owned restaurant. Thank you so much for ordering today. Under this mask, there is a big smile, I promise you. To keep those beloved places in business. Those tickets, that pays the utilities for a month. Each ticket will pay for a little bit of the water bill, a little bit of the gas bill, a little bit of the electricity bill. If we all collectively need something this year, is to come together. So if we as chefs together with Guy's team can kind of show like as a country, let's come together. It's not about being Republican. It's not about being a Democrat. Stop, exactly. we're gonna get out of this. We have to heal and we need each other. We have a vaccine now, but for restaurants, there is still a very long road ahead, isn't there? It's gonna be, how do we rebuild? And we don't know what a restaurant 2021, 22 is gonna look like. Many habits from our customers have already changed. So the model of restaurant has to also change. Guy Fieri helped raise more than $22 million for workers in the industry, hoping to help as many as possible until the day their restaurants can all safely reach full capacity again. We will beat these situations and we will prevail through them unified. Divided, the efficiency goes down, not by 50%, it goes down exponentially. Unification, supporting one another, tackling issues head on, resolving them. That's what we need to be doing. For today, Joe Fryer, NBC News. Really brings wow. this issue into focus. More than 2 million restaurant industry jobs have been lost. Yeah. And in some cases, these mom and pop restaurants just aren't going to come back. Yeah. $130 billion in revenue uh, gone. And, you know, I, they, they, they make a the point there. I mean, these are spots that we love, but yeah. you forget sometimes how many livelihoods are tied yes. to these restaurants right. directly and indirectly. So Restaurant Hustle, by the way, 2020, all on the line. It premieres this Sunday night, December 27th, over on the Food Network. And for more information on the film and some ways to help, you can visit today.com slash food. Yeah, that help is going to be so essential for so many.